Concussion is a disturbance in normal brain function, usually caused by an impact, either direct to the head or maybe to the body. Anything that causes the head to shake around and the brain to, to deform. They all come down to some kind of brain disturbance, uh, usually a disruption in the signaling pathways inside of the brain, but brains are such complicated things that that same kind of change in the signaling pathways can manifest in lots of different ways. So our mouth guard is rigidly affixed to the maxilla, to the teeth. When you get hit in the side of the head, your head rotates, your jaw rotates, our mouth guard picks that up, and from the movement of the, of the mouth guard, we get the movement of the skull and then the movement of the brain. From the movement of the brain, we can say something about which bits of the brain are being stretched, which are being compressed. So we're looking to bring people to the attention of medical professionals who at the moment are not showing signs and symptoms of concussion. So I mentioned before that quite often you don't show symptoms at the time or on the sidelines. I mean, we saw that with Steve Smith as well. He didn't show any symptoms until several hours after um, the game, but he went back out and played anyway. Now, if a detection tool is working properly like our mouth guard, what we can do is we can flag somebody who is at high risk of a concussion, even if they don't show signs and symptoms at the time, and help the medical professionals make the best decision about return to play. The mouth guard itself is designed as a detection tool. So we can provide data to the medical professionals to help support the diagnosis there. We provide um, the same kind of information to the doctors helping with uh, injury prevention that traditional sports performance tools provide to you know, the coaches and the athletic trainers and so on. It's not always the one big impact that you know, the commentators exclaim about. It's quite often little small jostles, the really quick little knocks to the chin or to the side of the head that causes really short movements but very, very fast. If the part of your brain that has been injured is, for example, connecting your sensors to your motor systems, then you might lose balance, or your reaction times might get worse. When someone receives an impact, it's less about the size of an impact, but more how your head responds to it. So we see things that look really quite small, but because they cause very sharp and very specific movements of the head, they can cause more damage than one that looks really big and scary, but actually is moving the head in quite a safe way. The days of being able to claim ignorance are very much behind, and this is all about the wellness, longevity, and the performance of our athletes.